Good afternoon. Today I'm doing an empties video for the month of November and it's 2017 and I just wanted to get my empties video done because I'm like a few days late so let's jump right in. I'm going to pull these out of the bag and just kind of talk about them as we go. Okay the first one is Cider Lane by Bath and Body Works. Um, here is the how the inside looks when it is all said and done. Now that is some uh, <laughs> creative last minute burning there when the wicks got crazy. Let me read real quickly the the different um, scent notes that they put in this. Cider Lane, warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. It's normally $22.50 or at least the time when I bought this it was. I got a good sale on it. I love the caramel and the apple. Um, I like the picture. My husband and I enjoyed it. You see a little bit of residue down the side. Um, I had some battling with uh, keeping it lit at the end. Um, I didn't want to cotton ball it. I feel like I waste a lot of wax and product and I get even less value if you're having to cotton ball things all the time um, compared with maybe letting the wicks remain longer when you do that though then you get some blackening so I just I just find that for me the more and more I burn these they should be getting easier and easier but there's just a high rate of babysitting going on of the candle too much to keep up with for the price for a candle that burns hot and fast that's just my opinion please don't take offense if you're um, a Bath and Body Works lover. I loved the scent. We enjoyed it. Toward the end, it got a little bit burnt smelling, which um, kind of like a darker burnt brown sugar, but it wasn't awful. It wasn't bad. Okay. The next one is Apple Pumpkin by Village Candle. This is a really beautiful um, candle when it was lit. And I did do a review on this. Um, kind of also burnt kind of interesting toward the end a two wick candle I tend to want to put luma lids on all my large jars I never do with a two wick candle though because I just feel like that's going to make it get even more hot and possibly dangerous so I would not recommend it this one was okay this did not knock me out right now when I smell what's left of that wax it's just a slight fragrance that's left I smell a little more apple than pumpkin. I keep picking it up here. Um, kind of simple. Nothing too great. Nothing bad. Um, a beautiful label, and I love the glow factor of how it burns through. I don't know if you can see it. My other camera might be hindering what we're able to see here. But the leaves are pretty. The, the label's got a little bit of a clearness to it, like a translucence, a transparency a little bit through it. So it's nice. So that's that. See what else do I have? Oh, I've got another. Here's a okay. Before I do this one, let's do this one back here. I just did a review on this candle, Brookside Candle Fall Favorites. I'm including it in the empties because it's literally about done. I don't think it'll um, make it through the day, so this will be is included in the empties. That's also kind of why I put off my video. Besides me being busy. Um, it was layered with cinnamon, berry, and pumpkin. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was okay. It was fine. I might buy it again. I probably will not. Um, you could have, it had some throw though. So that's that. The next one is another Brookside candle. And this time it's in like a, this is a wide mouthed, a wide, oak, you know, wider candle called Apple Cider by Brookside Candle. 14 ounces. Um, oh, and this was a layered one too. Apple, clove, and cinnamon. I kind of feel like these smells blend a little better than like if you were to throw berry and pumpkin in with a, with a cinnamon. Um, but apple and clove and cinnamon, it was okay. I, I didn't love it. It didn't knock me out. It was nothing too crazy um, in terms of, you know, making me want to repurchase that. A little bit ho-hum. I did like the label there a little bit. You see like a, a, some apple cider. Can you see that? A little bit apple cider cinnamon stick with some greenery. It's nice. Um, the label's a little bit rippled here. 
Oh, and the price was only $5.99. And it's a, a fair amount of wax. So, um, in some thick glass, so that's kind of nice. It makes you feel a little safer if the glass is real thick. Like, it's not going to crack real easy like some of the old um, wood wick candles that always made me so nervous and would crack fairly often. Okay. That sounded like a little dig at wood wick. I didn't mean that. I just, yeah, as a point of comparison there. Okay, another Bath and Body Works. This was a beautiful candle. Goodness, I love this candle. Um, sorry, my lighting's a little dark. The sky's getting dark outside. I love this kind of like a fall transitioning into winter day. I'm in the Midwest, USA. This one, I still love this one. Caramel Woods. Um, just as a quick repeat, I did a review on this too. Rich Caramel Buttery Toffee Autumn Oak tonka bean and saffron i really really loved this candle um i'm glad that it worked because it's not just a rich sweet candle it's like got the autumn oak the tree um the scents about it like almost like a woodsy maybe that's the saffron too oh you guys i love this candle even right now smelling it oh it makes me so happy this is just a pretty candle you can see the wax got kind of discolored and burnt Again, with candles that burn hot and fast, I don't know that that totally surprises me. I know in as far as the upside to that, there's a lot of people that love these candles. They get bored if a candle burns too long. They get like really bored with the fragrance and want to get done with it. I think I'm always like looking at the bottom line, like dollar, the economics of a thing. I don't know. That's probably a little bit too logical or something way to think about it but um that is a nice candle loved the lid um that beautiful leaf i would buy this again and again and again if i got it on as good of a sale as i did before okay moving right along two more yankee candles here and then i'll do the wax sea coral by yankee candle my husband picked this out out of my stash this is a nice smelling, somewhat cologne type fragrance. It's in the fresh category right there. You see some sea coral. It looks like it's in the water. <laughs> Those of you that <laughs> have watched my videos, I wouldn't even have to say my husband picked out. I could just show this little can the bottom of it. See how the wick is still centered at the end, but we've got like the drippings, the wax dripping. So he trims the wick very faithfully, but trims it right into the wax. So no big deal. I do not complain. No one can tell. Oh, it smells pretty good. Now, the only downside to this one for me is I felt like sea coral. I wished that the smell that it's putting off and even now cold or and hot, I wish I could smell it more in terms of the throw out into the room. If it wish it would come out of the bathroom into the hallway or up the stairs like some of the candles do, I have to be honest, this one did not quite do that. But the couple times when it would throw a little bit, it was very much enjoyed by us. So um, I love it because it's got the oceany theme. I like the lighter colored wax. It almost looks like it's discolored too, but that color was just the color of this candle. Kind of like a, not really a creamy off-white, but like a grayish off-white. But that's how it came. So I remember picking this up at a semi-annual sale a while back, and it was nice. I might buy it again if when I looked at the candle and then smelled it and looked at the oils, if it seemed like a richly scented candle, I might pick this up again. Short of that, I might keep looking. And then my final big jar. Oh, oh gosh. I kind of wish I'd done this one first and ended with the sea coral one. Movie night. Um, this candle we did not finish. This was not pleasant. I would burn it like in a, a corner, like a little room. Um, it smells just like popcorn. Like buttered popcorn. What you smell is like the buttery, salty popcorn like that's it and I got this on a great deal um on a clearance table at one of the semi-annual sales I thought that I could just finish it but we just decided um I mean maybe I'll pass it along maybe I'll save it for a rainy day but I think I'm gonna just get rid of this 
and, or give it away or just throw it away. Um, I hate doing that. I never do that. I just don't care for this scent enough that I want to get rid of it. I just don't want to smell that smell. It's not, in my opinion, good for home fragrance. I've only got a couple of like smaller um, little wrappers here for my votives and tarts. I always have a few of these. I'll end with that one. Okay, first is a, um, a votive amber glow. That's a pretty label. Um, this one, it doesn't strike me that there's a whole lot to say about it, which is pretty common for the votives. Um, I just do enjoy vo burning votives, as you see back there. Just a little votive holder. Um, I enjoy burning votives for the ambiance. And if I happen to smell it, then that's great. Love it. Okay, the next one is Blue Summer Sky. This seems more like a, like a summery or springy type fragrance. This was a beautiful blue color, like the blue that's around the edge there. And it was nice. It was okay. It was nice. Next, I've got... A buttercream tart from Yankee Candle. This one is um, finishing melting in my room right now. This smells yummy like buttercream frosting. And it blends well with, I'm finishing another like pumpkin-y spicy candle in there. So it blends really well with that. Um, I like this. It, it's nice. It's a nice little candle. Next. Snowflake cookie. Boy, is that like a ripple in the label there. Um, they're just beautiful little cookies, like glittery snowflakes with pink and white frosting. This one, I, if I'm honest, is one of, it falls in the category of don't wait too long to burn your candles to where you almost can't smell them. Um, but the color was beautiful. I love the pink. It's kind of a neat option. Snowflake cookie, if it's meant to be like a holiday option or whenever even if you waited it's just a pretty pink color and I like it so kind of like that vanilla cookie scent and then finally um as far as the vote is oh no one more so after this too November rain one of my most favorite labels you can't go wrong with it so my apologies for the lighting if you could somehow make out or remember or know the um, the blue that's around the edges of this label, it's a very rich navy, like a darker, rich, natural looking navy blue. That's the color of the candle for the most part too, and I love it. The fragrance is very, very, very nice. Love this candle. Um. As often um, as I could find these on sale or anything um, for the dollar and tart votive, votive and a tart sale or a, <clears throat> a semi annual or in a large jar on sale, I would probably get this candle for a long time to come. I just love it. I love that label too. I know it's an old label. And finally, ended with this one on purpose. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Look how, can you see how red? Look at this, how red the wrapper is. Look on that side. It's more red in person than it's showing on the video. Um, this is pomegranate cider. I think partly the dye bled into that wrapper. It's almost hard to see it, but if you know what pomegranate cider, the old label looks like, um, it's, it's nice. But I think what made this candle such a winner for me, it's a good one to end on. Um, I could smell this in the Voda of you guys. I could totally smell this in the votive in my bathroom. So I am thrilled with that. And maybe because of the oils, it, it caused the uh, the dye to blend or to, to, to bleed rather into the wrapper. So I like that. I'd buy this again. That is it from my empties video. I have quite a little mishmash here. I almost had another candle also, but um, these were the ones that were done. And like I said, that fall favorites one back there will be done soon. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Would love to know if you had any of these and what your thoughts and experiences were. 
and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.